Welcome back to Battletech Extended 3025 mod, Commander's Edition. This is Dr. Obsidia. Last time we left off, we had four operational mechs, and we were going to send them into a pirate mission. We're kind of like tanking our reputation with the pirates, so running a mission with them might be good. Max pay is, is decent compared to the other uh, things at the same level. And uh, hopefully we can get some good salvage out of this. It says here, we're training a group of mech warriors to act as a local defense force. We'd like you to assist in their training. There's a decommissioned Turian base that we need to take ownership of. As it's undefended, this is a perfect opportunity for our trainees to practice operating as a team in a low-risk environment. We need you to send along a single experienced mech warrior to keep an eye on them and, a mo and model good behavior for them. So I guess we're only sending one mech. I thought we were sending four, but after reading this, I can see we're only sending one. So that may be okay. Um, we get two salvage out of this that we can pick, uh, and it does raise our pirate reputation very slightly. The local pirates, I guess. Uh, and that may give us missions later, uh, if we ever come back to this area. So uh, we're going to do that. And I think, yeah, everything's locked except for the last one. And then we have to choose who to send and what to send. So we can send our heaviest mech here. We've got two medium lasers and a small laser, and he does well. Or we can send our new mech with uh, three medium lasers, a bunch of MGs, and some jump jets as well. And this fire starter is kind of turning into our little experiment, actually. Uh, to see what we have along, we've got an urban mech, a panther, and a commando. Nothing spectacular here, although the panther might be decent. I'm not sure what it is, I mean, exactly, but sometimes the panther has a pretty good loadout. So, the cicada's got 320 armor, and uh, our fire start is 440. The cicada has a very weak firepower, really high movement, though. And our fire starter is quite a bit less. So, I think we're going to take the fire starter, actually. I want to see how this thing does. So, Moped here has some skill in fire starters. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're just going to take Moped along for the three gunnery so you get a little bit better aim out of it. Uh, and this is a good experiment for our machine guns too, because we only have one ammo slot on there. It's just machine gun ammo, so we may have to turn off some of the machine guns until we have an ideal uh, situation to target with them. We don't really care too much about the other mechs. We just need to keep our mech from getting damaged. So we'll send those guys in front to take all the fire, take all the hits, and then we'll run the fire starter in using its medium lasers, which will probably overheat it a little bit. But once it gets overheated, we can get close and use our secondary weapons to, f to engage. These are just complaining about uh, what they have to do here. All right, here we go. We just got to scout this base. And uh, our commando here has medium lasers. That's pretty good. Heading out. Here's our urban mech, which is an AC-10. Uh, but they are slow. They are so slow. So we're going to have to get him going as fast as he can. He's going to be way in the back. Ooh, our panther has a PPC. Onward. The urban mech is going to fall way behind and not be a factor if we move up too fast. But we'll take it easy for the urban Moving mech. Out. Acknowledged. 10-4. Keep our fire starter slightly in the back there. Uh, where's the urban? I'm receiving there we go. You. I'm there. 
Ready for orders. Actually, the panther, if he can get over here and look down with that PPC, that's huge. Well, let's go up here and take a look, see. Roger that. Yeah? I live to serve. Oh, he can jump all the way up. That's what we want, too. Mechanic. Nimble jumper. Not sure what that does exactly, but that is pretty nice. Where's our urban I'm mech? Here. Always far behind. Copy that, Commander. Move order received. Managing heat. Let's see. This is a pretty good overview of the base. I'm walking here. Confirmed. There we go. It is empty. Engine uh, signatures. Okay, so we got to get into the base and pacify the area around the base. So uh, our urban mech has moved. He's moved, and we've braced here. What do you need? I think we're going to have to send our guy forward here to keep an eye out on our fire starter eye out for anything that's coming in. Get into the tree line here. Send the urban mech into the urban area, maybe? Waiting for orders. Move order received. Roger. Oh, he's in just a perfect position. Get the fire starter in here. Confirmed. All right, so now we just need to pacify the area around the base. Location confirmed. Get the urban mech inside. Roger. Fire starter back out in the trees. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contact. A single contact. Oh, he's coming in from kind of a weird angle for the PPC. How's it going? Stubble here. Um, see, he's got quite a long range uh, to see. I don't know if it's a good idea to keep him here. Oh, he's just so far out. I don't think the PPC will reach that far. If he goes up here, it might not be a bad thing. If he starts moving now... Um, I guess he can get closer. Let's get him a little closer. We'll keep him moving. That shouldn't overheat him too bad. Get the urban mech back into the tree line. Commander? Sprint into the trees, I think. Here's a good one. Oh, you, you can actually see there, but won't be able to shoot. Well, we don't want that. Moving out. Yes, Commander. All right. Um, this might be good. We'll get up a little closer. That's in range of all of our stuff. Pretty bad chance to hit. We'll fire it anyway. Yep. Copy that. Only one evasion pip. Only 24. That's 31 in the back. Let's go ahead and shoot at their urban mech. Aye, aye. Engaging Couple hits. Ooh. I think that hit too, the commando. Alright. Stubble. 
Yeah, he can actually see from there, but such a long range shot for him. That's fine. Ready for orders. Uh, if we brace, it ends our turn. So I think we're just going to take this shot here on the herb mech and stay in cover rather than trying to sprint around. The commando is actually pretty good at moving though, so let's see what we can get here. We could take three pips. So it only shows one enemy mech. It's weird. There should be... Oh, there's another one there. Okay. Yeah, let's take three, three pips here. Get him out of the tree line. It also helps to scout a bit. Um, this is the one that hasn't moved. I think we're going to shoot at the one that has moved so we can give the PPC the best chance to hit it. No problem. Alright. Um, moped. Can probably get behind him. Right here. Now we can use our entire arsenal on this guy if we like. Let's go ahead and do it. Lots of misses. Standing by. He doesn't get a single pip moving this urban mech. Order acknowledged. Chevron, pip, arrow, I don't know what you want to call them. 57. Let's go ahead and shoot it at that. Confirmed. Oh, miss. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. I'm ready. 61 to hit, and it's a back shot, too. Putting one in the back. Boom! Right torso destroy. That takes the right arm out, too. Like that shot. Yeah, that was nice. He just evaded. What do you need? It means we can just open fire with everything again here. And why not use the precision strike uh, target center torso with everything we've got? There we go. That one's gone. I'm curious to see. Okay, so every time she takes a shot, she loses 20 ammo. And that's pretty good, actually. That's kind of okay. I don't mind that so much. Bye. Can we get in a side shot here? Yes, we can. Let's see how you like this. Nah, nothing hit. Maybe one impacted. Negative if that. damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. 37. Target locked. Oh, I thought they hit. That looked like it was on target. Yes, Commander. Let's see if we can get any shot at all. Oh, a bad shot. Okay, let's jump and take a bad shot then. Shooting that PPC doesn't even give us any heat either. 26%. No, didn't make it. Gonna need a calibration on my targeting system. Oh! I'm gonna need a medic. <laughs> Ouch. That, that wasn't ours. Yep. Can we jump behind him? Yes, we can. Let's jump behind him Up then. High. We may have to shut down some of our medium lasers here. We'll have to see. Yeah. Um. Turn off one medium laser. Locked on rear armor. Didn't actually do that much. Did expose, I guess. Will be done. I'm going. I always like the Panther with the PPC. The, the was it 9R? That PPC is just tough for a sniper's type shot. 
Of course, you got to hit with it, so you need to have somebody with good aim. Commander? Now, the urban mech is pretty tough in the armor department, so I don't mind sending them head to head. Roger that. Ugh, it's all these misses. That's a miss. Commander? Would like to maybe not get Guano killed? Let's see, his uh, left side is gone, and if he turns that way, it's going to be his left side. So we're going to need to turn completely around to expose his right, if I did that correctly. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice. Good hits there. Scored a critical hit. Let's get this done, team. Took his left torso out. What's he got left? What do you need? Moving to position. Uh, we're almost overheated. That's the problem with the fire starter, I think, is too much uh, in the way of medium lasers. Um, we can actually shut it down. Yeah, let's just leave two of them. I guess two is break even almost. I mean, it's we're in the Badlands, so only 85% is sinking. But that's kind of good. Three... Um, but with all the flamers and things too. And I think the flamers don't add any heat, neither is the MGs. So just the lasers are going to add heat. So we can actually shut all this down and then we'll cut the heat way down. So we'll just keep them all on though. Acknowledge. Waiting for orders. Okay, didn't get the kill. This guy needs a little revenge. minor hits. I'm receiving you. Take this. <laughs> you terrible urban mechs. When they hit, they hit hard. Uh, AC-10 is nice for those little mechs, but jeez. Uh, what's the range on that PPC? Range is very long. He's probably good just to sit where he's at, but he does have the SRM-4, so let's move him up a little closer. I think that's enough to get the SRM-4 in action. Yeah. Well, Just gonna mess him up. Yep. Drop ship. Hopefully that's ours. Alright. No problem. Mission successful. We let the other ones take the damage. Nothing we're concerned about. Don't care for the urban mech. The AC-10 is kind of nice to grab. And I think we could probably use a heat sink too. Um, although, we do have one of these too. So, grabbing two of them would be us one step closer to getting another commando. The AC-10 is pretty valuable. I don't think we can really mount it easily on anything. It's pretty heavy, 12 tons. It's like the urban mech is about, that's all it's got. Let's just stick with the commando and uh, keep trying to build another mech. Got it anyway, so that's the good thing. And the heat sink as well. The fire starter, as a light mech, actually did fairly well with the MGs. We kept the flamethrowers on it as well. <laughs> Battle mech repairs needed. What, what do we? Do we not repair something? Everything's uh, fine. What do you want? You need some work done, Commander. Welcome, Mech Bay. Um, does he want to talk to me about something? I don't see him. It's just tutorial stuff, and I know how to do all that. Come back anytime. All right. Let's check our mech warriors here. Yeah. 
V yeah, is moped. Club. No. I would like to get them up to about four gunnery. Um, receiving you. Before I do anything else with them, so. All right. Well, that capture base went really well, actually. Uh, we have a letter of marquee. And we have this contested will. The letter of marquee pays really well. Guardian citizens have been suffering at the hands of local band of brigands, remnants of the uh, Davian Battalion. Battalion that saw action at third succession war with no prospects or funds. They've become common criminals. We are to elite them. Old mechs with good pilots. That's always a bad sign. Um, but that money is very tempting. And old mechs, yeah, those are good. Let's uh, try to get more salvage out of this than money. Federated Sons is not going to like this very much, but we're going to go ahead and make them angry. We got a million funds. I think we're sitting pretty right now. Mopeds out. Cicada. Stinger. And her wasp. A kid likes the wasp. He's done really well with it. The obsidian likes the cicada. Let's see. Sturm is the stinger. She's got a little experience in that. And herringbone is probably the fire starter. Yeah, she's good for the commando, but we don't have that up yet, so we're going to go like this. All right, uh, that'll be our next mission here. I'm going to run another one, just because the first one was so short. If the battles run short like that, I might run a second one. Make the videos a little more entertaining and longer. Got to move forward and engage these mechs. They're on the opposite hill over there. So between us, we've got some... Um, they're going to have cover as well. I have a lake in the middle. Some rubble on the side we're going to have to watch out for. Um, our longest range is, range is our fire starter. With the medium lasers. Okay, let's go. Everybody's got medium lasers, so we can shoot pretty far. And hit fairly hard. I do worry a little bit if we get... Yeah, enemy contact there. Can we see him? Cannot. Can we do anything to see him? No, but I can send the cicada into the tree line on the far side. Let's do that. Coordinates received. Advancing, I guess. Sounds like a kid. Advancing, I guess. Ooh, is there a heavy mech there? There's a medium and a heavy. That's kind of scary. Um, uh, oh boy. We've got good ar or evasion pips. We're in good positions, everybody. Let's reserve the entire squad. Let them come to us. Try to hit us in our advantageous position. The locust. Okay. Something up on the tree line there. Something on the road. He's only got two pips there. Standing by. Of course, if we fire, we lose. Like, just fire from the tree line here, we lose everything. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and reserve one more time. Holding action, Commander. Let's see if that's a medium that comes up over the hill. Uh oh. Sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh no. So this must be the heavy. Whatever's up there is not a good thing. Alright, let's get the cicada moving up the hill. We 
you can see from here. Maybe. Look like maybe not. He cannot fire. Okay, he can brace then. Didn't even really see what that was. Oh, it's a tank. Waiting for orders. Okay, our fire starter can actually go down in the water. I think that's the best bet here. Uh, that'll keep our medium lasers cool as we open fire on that tank, which is nothing but trouble, I think. Yeah. Target locked. One more hit on that thing should finish it I off. Let's get the kid over oh, there. Wow. There. Okay. Okay. That didn't kill it. All right. What can I do for you? Sturm. She can't even get a good shot at it. She's got small lasers, so we'd like to get her closer. Uh, missed 44. That would be a miss. That one's pretty far out. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything in long range. Oh, he does. That cicada's taking a bit of a pounding on the right side. Still looks okay. Get up this hill. Ooh, we got one down here too. Jeez. We're still braced, so that might be helpful. Commander? Fire starter. Could go up in melee, I think, but I th actually I want to keep my medium lasers in play if possible. Let's do this. Yep. 56 for almost all of them. Uh oh. We have some exposed armor on that side. Morning. Thought that armor would hold out a little better than that. Right arm is a bit uh, contorted at this point. Could fall back and show the left side, maybe. Let's do that. Still in the tree line. get much uh, evasion there. This right side is a little exposed, so I think we could probably run up the hill here. Get on his right side. Or at least uh, try to get on his right side, I guess. Oh, here would do it. Ooh, that's a terrible shot. I guess we're going for the goblin again. Oh, a miss. That was pretty pointless. I'm here. That goblin's, uh, his left side is exposed. And that's where we're running here with the wasp. Trying to get on that left flank a little bit. Can he take this shot? It says he can, but I don't believe it. Well, all right, let's try it. it. Says it can shoot it. Doesn't? It's not within his firing arc, though. It is okay. So believe the the firing arc then. Oh, 
I guess that was the right side. <laughs> now that I think about it, he's not turned the other way. It's all right. Kind of wanted him to flank along that side anyway. Get an MG. Hit. Hit. It's all right. It's MGs, we got four of them. Step on the goblin, maybe? Lost an MG. Mech warriors, show them what you got! Both arms are now exposed. That's kind of bad news there. Um, what is this? Oh, self mission. It's a tank. Maybe a light vehicle. Let's step on it. Cicada's got a small laser. There we go. Problem is, he's got lots of exposed armor to be dealing with mechs shooting at him. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Still got a lot of internal <laughs> armor. Uh, let's see. I see a green somewhere here. Get behind this mech. Behind a mech. Where is he facing? Oh, he has got his back turned. So if we get, we have to go into unstable terrain to see him, can't see him very well either. What about jumping? Jumping right behind him. Jumping behind this one. Let's jump behind this one. Yeah. One MG's down. That's all right. Ten four. Nice. MG ammo explosion, MG. ammo explosion, MG ammo deaths destroyed. That took him down. Lucky shot. Oops, the wasp took a hit. Kid, look out! Structure damage. Yes, Commander. I'm gonna have Kid maybe go step on this guy here. Going hand to hand, I guess. He missed. <laughs> missed. Figure. Yeah. Good to go. Kid step on him with the other one. It's a 66, and we got two small lasers to assist uh -huh. too. I want to take out that tank if I can. Going toe to toe. Oh, that wasn't the tank. That was the locust. I thought that was the tank. Well, oh, well, I guess that works too. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Tank's probably sitting right there. Ouch! Ouch! Wow, that was some pretty heavy fire right there. Yeah, that was the tank. Oh, right arm destroyed on the wasp. They took up one of my weapons. I think this is the best place for him. That's a move out of it. 53 on this one. I think we could use our precision strike now, maybe. Uh, or we could let the resolve go all the way up. And knock out his leg. It's only two medium lasers, though, but he doesn't have much armor there. It's only one of five on that locust. His internal structure, or let's see, one of five on that. We should be able to take it out if we hit it with both. Only one of them. Still got left arm. That locust is running for it. I don't blame him. 
reading you. What is this? A dervish? Oh, he's a he's a problem. All right, we're gonna have to send our best mech after yes, him. Commander. Our fire starter. Order acknowledged. Sixty-one with the three medium lasers. Roger. Target confirmed. A couple good hits there. Oh, a headshot. Waiting on you, Commander. We can punch him in the back. Uh, 66%. Let's go ahead and do that. Got a hit on him before. As he's trying to run away. Good hit. Oh, there it goes. He's down. time! Gotcha! Hey, kid. Step on the tank, kid. There we go. He never should have left Garrus. Oh, that dervish is a, tr a troublemaker right there. Watch out, kid. Oh, there's blood in my cockpit. Yeah, that didn't feel good. The locust might be helping him out too. Yep. He's gonna fall. My mech's going over. Oh, I'm hit. It's hurt pretty bad. I'm here. Um, I think we're gonna hit this locust. We'd like to hit him on the right side. So let's see which position he is. So here. I don't think we can get to his right side unless we jump over him. Let's go ahead and jump over him then. Affirmative. That's a back shot. Uh, we're not overheating though if we unleash everything, so let's go ahead and do it. We're right at the edge though. Target locked on enemy six. There we go. Good job. Afraid he was going to get a turn and go after the wasp. Good to go. Try to get in the way a little bit. If he's in the way a little bit, he might cause line of sight. Put some fire down on that thing. Tell me what to shoot. What's he standing in? Uh, I, I forget what that terrain type is. Probably radioactive, probably gives him more heat. Good hits there. He lost some of his SRM. Don't hit the wasp. Okay, he let the kid go. Standing by. I go down, I get up. <laughs> Let's get the kid out of here. Affirmative. He turned his uh, weakened spot to the other side. That's okay. Uh, we'll come up on the hill over here. Turn towards him. Fire with medium lasers. Oh, the small laser's not going to reach that far. Engaging target. No hits. No damage detected. Yes, Commander. Fire starter's just gonna jump through that and land. Can't get a back shot. We can get a side one. All right. Lifting off. Oops. Heat's almost maxed out there. We need to shut some stuff down here. All the medium lasers are down. Engaging target. Waiting for orders. 
think we can jump here too. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous here. Line of sight is through our mech. Hope we don't hit ourselves. I can't remember if that's a thing. Medium laser. Ooh, good hit. He panicked. Yes, Commander. We'll just let him sit there and brace. You say so. Reading you. Herringbone's still overheating quite a bit. I'll turn the back on the medium lasers and go punch this thing um, in its weakened side. There we go, jump jet down. Thing's not going anywhere. LRM crit. Scored a critical hit. Come on, eject. You know you want to. Geothermal, that's what that layer is. Heat problems more than like. Okay, let's try to blow the leg out. Um Left leg is destroyed, it's gonna fall down. He may eject now. Getting pieces of that dervish would be nice. He's incapacitated. Nice. Mission successful. No problem. That was a good scrap. Kinda of worried about the wasp when he fell down. The kid was in a bit of trouble, he took a lot of damage. Yeah, we lost a few items there. Luckily, the cicada didn't lose anything. He was taking some pretty good hits there. He only had five left on one side and 13 left on the other in structure. And uh, his arms... Actually, his arms don't even carry anything. That's interesting. They're just there for show. Whoop. Disputed salvage. What's this? I'm sorry, Commander, but Section A, Subsection 3, Paragraph 2. As salvage critical over the battlefield, you are contracted by the Turing Concordant representative... They insist the contract terms allow them to first write to the following. Oh, they want the dervish. They offer to add the following to the pool in exchange. An LRM, an SRM, and a medium laser, a jump jet. You may choose. Refuse. The disputed salvage is retained. You lose three rep. Except the disputed salvage is lost. Dispute. You pay the, le the 40000 in legal fees and have 47% chance to keep this disputed salvage. And the pool gains 1 to 6 from the compensation. You lose an additional 1 to 6 and an additional 1 to 6 selections. Wow, they... I, I don't care about the rep with these guys. They can't just come in and start taking this. I want that dervish. Refuse. There's three dervishes there. Of course I'm going to fight for that. Are they insane? They're going to add a bunch of stuff I don't need. Of course, I'm going to take two dervishes and hope for the third one. Could get the uh, Locust 1B. I don't care about the Locust. Okay, I didn't get the third one, but I did get uh, two dervishes. A couple stingers, which I don't care so much about. We do have a stinger. It's kind of okay. That dervish is a medium mech, so if I can put one of those together, that's nice. Easy to repair. Um, the angle of attack is greater. Nice. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. Maybe. Losing three rep is tough. Gaining a medium mech is really great, but who knows if we're even going to see one of those again anytime soon. All right. Get our mech operational again. One day to repair that. And this one, we're going to refit our wasp. Uh, he lost a lot of uh, stuff here. Two jump jets. Do we have jump jets? Yes, we do. Put them back in him. He lost a medium laser. Oop. 
There we go. Confirm. I don't really care much about him. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. And let's see. Our mech warriors that are injured. Out of action for 46 days. Kid almost died. 13 for Sapper, 12 for Kayak. Uh, it might be a good time to, to think about leaving this system. And we'll do that in the next episode. Decide if to stay and heal up or leave the system. Thanks for joining. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode.